we will see definitely a lot of anger uh, already now, but probably increase by the end of the year because this crisis will be with us until we really have found a remedy. So um, we have to prepare for a more angry world. The world is so angry, uh, they wonder why. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Zukidowski here of WeAreChange.org, and there is some absolutely wild and crazy news to get into today, as, of course, we have the latest updates surrounding Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. More crazy domestic news here inside of the United States, as, of course, the social economic situation is one that we really need to have a serious conversation about, especially with all the craziness that just unfolded in France that we are going to be talking about in a very interesting way coverage that, of course, you probably won't see anywhere else, as well as the analysis that we're able to provide you all here on this independent media organization. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, you could get it on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast was done by Illuminati Bot, at Illuminati Bot. If this person has a YouTube channel, we, of course, will be sure to link them as this uh, juxtaposition of Klaus Schwab of the World Economic Forum explaining how people might not be too happy with, you know, the takeover of the world the subjugation of free humanity, the destruction of personal wealth and savings, as the globalists use this world as their own personal playground to do whatever sinister evil things they want to do. Yeah, who would have thought? They're not happy with the Rothschild banker as their president that, of course, has implemented a lot of very horrible policies in their country. This as the country is left fighting itself, just like maybe Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk potentially will be doing now in the Coliseum. Yes, the Italian government has officially come out and offered Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk the Coliseum where gladiators previously fought before in a perfect fitting analogy for bread and circuses, which now could be the potential location of this mega billionaire tech social media clash of the Titans, which, uh, let's be honest here, I, I, I would watch. In related people fighting each other news, it looks like Lindsey Graham is now a part of the Donald Trump re-election committee. As the former president of the United States came out and said, quote, Lindsey Graham is there when you need him. As the neoconservative war hawk corporatist U.S. senator appeared at a Donald Trump rally in South Carolina this Saturday, where he was booed for over six minutes. Here's a small clip of what we saw. continues for six minutes and and regardless of how immature i am i i literally debated about playing the full six minute clip here because it's so <laughs> insane but i'll be an adult and i'll play it at the end of this video this as i think it's fair to say that a lot of people are sick of the big government that lindsey graham represents this as it literally always leads to failure after failure a lot of the projects that they're working on are absolutely Ridiculous and a total waste of money, just like in uh, New York City, where the government there just shut down their $250 million health passport mobile app system that they wanted to implement as a soft social credit score. Yes, New York State took $250 million to develop a tracking app that they tried to force people to take that would limit their movement and ability to go around the city if they were non-compliant with the wishes of the government. That system totally failed. Huge waste of money as the Biden administration just announced $42 billion for broadband internet access for uh, 8 million 
people, that means that he's spending around $5,000 per family that people are going to be paying for. Since, of course, nothing the government does is free. They take your money and they waste it. They could be giving 8 million people free internet access and save a bunch of money by using Starlink. But, uh, of course, they're not going to be doing that anytime soon. And as the government keeps wasting your money, taxing you, regulating you, destroying any free flow of capitalism that used to be there... Our social and economic situation is getting worse by the day, which could mean larger implications like the ones we're seeing in France unfold. As in Baltimore, 30 people were shot during a block party during a major event, which uh, very, very oddly, the corporate media is not really talking about since, of course, black on black crime doesn't really support the larger agenda that they usually push here. But of course, is a larger issue that should be talked about from a real and honest perspective and way since it's a real issue that a lot of people are dealing with that is very serious. But hey, at least the local government there is soon going to be banning gas stoves. And uh, yeah, that's the type of idiocy that we have to deal with that we fully like to represent on our t-shirt store on thebestpoliticalshirts.com where we're able to express a lot of the larger discontent in our society just by simply making a shirt about it and allowing people to do their lazy form of activism. The shirt that I'm wearing right now, you could get on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. The link is down in the description below. And this is a great way to meet like-minded individuals, to find friends, to find out who the local Kyle and Karen is in your local community. A perfect way to start conversations at the supermarket, at the bank, and even if you're just bored, scrolling through our t-shirts probably will give you a laugh as there's a lot of very creative designs here that are meant to invoke critical thinking and rational emotions towards the larger dissatisfaction as we're living on a huge prison planet controlled by some sinister people who believe that they're talking to demons. And it's not just me saying it, it's them believing it and practicing it. I'm getting off, off the rails here. Just get a shirt. We have tank tops, we have women's shirts, we have sweatshirts. You name it, we got it all on thebestpoliticalshirts.com, which, of course, goes towards supporting this independent media organization. Now, let's get to our main topic of discussion, and, and that is the new GTA 6 map that just got leaked, which oddly looks like the entire country of France. After we're getting the most insane videos coming from that country, as, of course, civil unrest has crescendoed in that country with huge moments of violence, destruction of private property, and conflicts that are happening between French people and, of course, French authorities, along with a lot of the racial groups that are now living inside of that country that have come together in mobs and have started to attack each other as well. Just to say that the, the situation here is tumultuous would be an understatement, as, of course, even major residential buildings in France have been linked it on fire along with many stores that have been looted but protesters recently going to specifically target the private property and homes of mayors all throughout france after an incident a couple days ago where a 17 year old was shot and killed during a police stop which spurred on this entire situation the 17 year old was in a car he decided to speed off Allegedly, the police officers saw that as a threat to their life, so they'd shot at a bright colored yellow Mercedes that they previously were involved in a pursuit with. An officer is alleged to have been hit by the car, which allegedly triggered the gunshot. One shot to the chest, which was a fatal wound that led to this entire scenario unfolding here. As the Gateway Pundit is reporting that this young man also had a 15 count rap sheet of previous arrest and a long history of running away from police. And now because of this one single incident, we have this entire situation where now hundreds, if not thousands of people have been arrested after five nights of riots, destruction of private property, and horrible crimes that are even too gruesome to mention here. As of course, there's there's a lot of viral videos that we will not be showing you here. This is a family-friendly broadcast, but there's 
individuals doing awful things with swords. Again, we won't be getting into that. This as many politicians are talking about assassination attempts that have been attempted on them, as of course there's even groups of vigilantes fighting against some of the rioters, as it looks like police have totally lost control of the entire situation and aren't able to stop a lot of the civil unrest that is unfolding in that country. And whether it's the Volkswagen or Nike stores, a lot of the businesses are facing the biggest brunt of all the attacks, as we're also hearing that 41 police stations were attacked, hundreds of officers in injured and an estimated 2,560 fires started in the streets with another estimate of 1,360 cars being burnt as we're learning that there's nearly 45,000 police officers that have been deployed and are having a very difficult situation stopping this madness which uh, looks like it has somewhat subdued as of last night but of course could also escalate even more further on from here. This as the 17 year old that sparked this entire incident has just been buried, which could be an explanation to why the unrest was a little bit quieter than usual as France is literally deploying their special forces to try to deal with this very chaotic situation that they have on their hands. Now, what's happening here, I think, can't just be solely blamed on this one entire incident, as, of course, there's a lot of other things happening behind the scenes, especially in in France, that have led up to this particular moment. In 2020, I actually talked about this and how there's going to be more civil unrest in the United States, but also more importantly in France, and I gave you my reasons why this was going to happen. I would definitely recommend watching this video from three years ago to give you a couple perspectives to what potentially might be happening here, as of course, even though these protests are are, are subsiding now, we have to understand that the underlining conditions that have caused them and created them are not being addressed and won't be addressed, but made that much worse, which means the propensity, the the ability of these types of events to unfold will be increasing from here, not just in France, but also in places like the United States. You add that to the fact that a lot of weapons sent by the United States that were originally meant for Ukraine, even according to the reporting by CBS News, didn't originally go to their destination, as there's some reports of American rifles being used by some of these rioters against the French police, which of course creates more of a tumultuous situation, which will only get more out of hand from here. Now, the French are known for protesting. There's also a lot here to say about the immigration policies of France, which have created a lot of ethnic enclaves and communities that are, of course, playing a major key component to all of this, as, of course, the divide racially between the French people and the new immigrants that they have allowed into their country is also something that is showing the division here that's creating this entire conflict. And when we look at this chaos, some would say that it is being absolutely engineered. And no matter what you might think of it, the chaos, the havoc, the destruction of private property here is absolutely tremendous. And the innocent average person truly does pay the price for all of this. As it's also important to note here that Muammar Gaddafi, the former leader of of Libya that was overthrown by the United States and NATO, predominantly Hillary Clinton, warned France specifically that, quote, if I go down, you will be flooded with millions of people from Africa. And now there's literally open air slave markets in Libya after it was liberated by Hillary Clinton. Clinton. It's also important to note here that the French government played a major role in the ousting of Muammar Gaddafi in Libya that previously had the highest standards of living in all of Africa and now is a war-torn failed state that literally has open-air slave markets, creating millions of refugees, financing human trafficking, bringing in outside populations that are meant to clash and fight with local populations that, of course, creates more racial divisions and sows more chaos as the powerful people on top of it that have created these policies, these situations are kind of sitting on top pretty watching everyone fight each other and not really look at them at all. And I would find that just a little bit suspicious. And if you find that suspicious as well, share this video with your friends and family members as I think it's fair to say 
that there's something a lot bigger happening here that we do not know of. But that's just my conspiracy mind. I might be wrong. If you think I'm wrong, let me know why down in the comment section below. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. And I'm only here because of you guys watching, supporting me, getting a t-shirt on thebestpoliticalshirts.com and watching these videos. And that's why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org. Donald Trump wins. 
they win in 2024, they'll be Puerto Rico and D.C. will be states for Democrats for the rest of our lifetime. They'll abolish the Electoral College. They will turn this nation upside down. So there's one person running for president as a Republican that has the ability to change this country. It is Donald J. Trump. He did it once, he can do it again, and I'm going to help him all over this country. And folks, I am from South Carolina. He is going to win South Carolina. This is the pathway to the presidency. God bless you all. God bless President Trump. God bless America.